Hey, what's up everyone? It's Luke here, and welcome to FD Real M. This week we're talking about binders, so yeah, get right on with that. Um, I've had four binders, well I still have four binders in my life. Um, they've all been from Underworks, so this is pretty much just going to be like a bit of like talk about Underworks because that's all I've ever had. But I would like to get a GC2B binder. That's what everyone's raving about at the minute. Um, probably soonish, so that when the ones that I have kind of die, I'll have something. Slash, if I don't like it, then I'll still have time to buy a new Underworks one it's before before I need them, basically. Um, so the four binders that I've had, I've had a, I've had two full length Underworks compression vest binder things. Um, one the first one was given to me by a friend, and it was a size too big, but it was like fine. It made me feel better. I still kind of wear that one if I'm going to be wearing like a loose jumper kind of thing. I don't know. I still wear it from time to time. Not very often though, but I do still have it. Second one I bought was a still full length one, but in white and the size down and like that was great. Um, but I, I mean, I had no issue with the full length ones particularly until I bought tri-tops, and that's what I wear now, like, all the time. I have one black one, one white one, they're the same size, I just, like, wear them all the time. Um, and I, like, much prefer the tri-top. I didn't think that I would, because I felt like there would be a lot more pressure, because it, like, ends, like, here-ish. I thought there would be, like, a lot of pressure just, like, on me all the time. Just cross my arms now. Um, but there's not, and, like, when I first wore them, I was, like, holy shit, like, there's this pressure on my ribs. But after I'd worn them, like, a couple of times, it was okay. Oh, good thing to mention. Don't, like, wear any binder and then expect to just be able to wear it for, like, a million hours at once because it will not probably work for you. Um, <laughs> it'll be kind of painful. Um, yeah, so at the minute, I am all about Underworks Try Top 997 or something it is on their website. I'm not really sure. Um, yeah, I like them. They, like, are relatively comfortable. And, um, I also, it's kind of weird, though, because, like, I have a stomach thing going on. So in certain shirts, it, like, really accentuates that because it, it probably doesn't in this one, to be fair. Because if I, like, yeah, it, like, comes in here and then it, like, goes back out. But, um, yeah, that's, like, my shape, I think. Um, yeah. Binders are cool, I guess. I mean, they also kind of suck, but so do lots of things that are cool. Um, but yeah, as a general rule, I wouldn't say that I find underworks uncomfortable or anything like that. Um, my black, I'm wearing my white one at the minute, but the black one that I have, I have worn a lot less. And um, when I first put it on, I like wore it for the whole day, which was like probably a mistake obviously but um I ended up with like these horrible like red like marks here and they didn't go away like after I took it off usually if you have like a mark on your skin it fades after like an hour but about three hours later it was still there and I was like hmm this isn't good so yeah probably avoid hurting yourself but I have heard that the GC2B ones are like really super soft material so that probably wouldn't happen as badly so yeah that's where I'm what I'm hoping to invest in next when I run into some money at some point. Um, yeah, this, sorry, this hasn't been like a super extensive review um, because I've only really had underworks, but I have had like the long ones and the short ones, and I personally do prefer the short ones. Um, just because I don't like having that material, like I just don't like the feel of it like across my whole body and like to wear longer ones, I would have to tuck them into my, um, into my boxes and into my trousers or just, like, into my, like, waistband, um, and, like, constantly be kind of pulling it down, and if I would, like, stretch, then I would have to, like, pull it all back down, whereas, like, 
the tri-top one you don't really get that problem with as much and if you do then like it's like here you don't have to like go into your like jeans to try and deal with it so yeah all in all i would say i definitely prefer tri-tops um and i want a gc2b binder to try at some point um i know that there are other like brands out there but the people that i know pretty much are all like underworks or gc2b but a lot more people now are like talking about gc2b being like a really good company so yeah uh oh other thing about binders that's important make sure you get the right size like me measure yourself get the right size because if it's too tight then it's just going to be horrific and like painful which isn't what you want and if it's too big then it probably won't bind you effectively which is also probably not what you want um yeah i'll catch you guys later bye